Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Day one, Tbilisi Grand Slam in the books. It was a pretty interesting day. Not a single Georgian medaled across the men's and women's categories, which is pretty surprising considering how strong and good they are at judo. Nozadzi, he's one of my favorites at under 60, and he just got unlucky here. First, thrown for a wazari, good score. Manages to survive this throw here. So no score for this one, but then comes back late in the round. Does well to defend this Soresuri Komigoshi attempt and then goes into the Newaza, but have a look at the timer. The timer behind him. By the time he gets into Newaza, I mean, it's already gone past the 10 second mark. So obviously he doesn't have enough time, but if he had secured the Newaza, if they had said Osai Komi before Golden Score, I think they would have let the timer continue into Golden Score and he might have even won here with the Newaza. I mean, he's in such a dominant position. But because the ref was late to initiate the Nawaza, I mean you can't do this, you can't just start the Nawaza once you're into golden score and your opponent is up a Wazadi, so they have to stop it here. They have to stop it here and it's very unfortunate I think for Nozadzi. I think he was in Osai Komi before the time it hit golden score. What do you guys think? Chick Fumiani, he also went out in the quarterfinals to Sao Khan from Kazakhstan. And look at this big powerful throw. I think people should try this more often. I mean, even standing up, there's the opportunity to go Kochimaki Komi or Seoinage. It's really nice. So after this, Chick Vimiani, he tried to chase Seo Khan. He was pushing the pace pretty hard. He got into an interesting exchange here. Seo Khan goes in for a Stemi Waza. And then goes for the Juji. And Chick Vimiani stands up, but he just can't believe that he applied the technique while he was standing. But I don't think Seo Khan's in the wrong. The referee has to stop it. He has to call Mate as soon as he stands up, but I don't think he's in the wrong to apply the technique standing. Obviously, you, you cannot initiate kind of standing submissions on the feet, but if you go from Newaza and your opponent stands up, I don't think you're in the wrong to apply the technique, even though it's not the nicest thing to do in the world. You're not going to get a score, so I mean, why apply the technique? So that was Chick Vimiani's quarterfinal match, and then in the Ripper Charge, he went against Lesuik from Ukraine. And Lesuik, he's a, a very strong judoka, does well on the circuit all the time, meddling quite frequently, and gets him here with the Obitori Gaishi. People are doing this so much these days. I'm not sure if I like seeing it or not. I would like to rather see big stand-up techniques and not these kind of half Nawaza kind of turnovers. Also, Ibek from Kyrgyzstan took gold at under 66, but he took out two Georgians on the way in doing so, throwing two Dalash really here with a nice Seoinage. And then in the semi-finals against Marga Vlashvili, got him with this nice Tomoinage. He goes for it twice. Here's the first one, doesn't get it going. But in this second attempt, not much space to work with. He manages to control him all the way over. Really nice score. And very impressive to take out two Georgians on the way to the final. And in the final, he was up against Yondon Perenlai. If you don't know, very high level competitor from Mongolia always at the top of the podiums and this match I mean we're gonna watch it in full but it was a quick one very dominant performance from Ibeg so you can see Lefus right here and Ibeg just a little bit faster than Yondon Perenlai even though Yondon Perenlai has got a sleeve right now breaks the grip and this little Ashiwaza right there watch that coming up soon that's a setup for things to come Yondon Perenlai with a strong Ochigari that the Mongolians always have. So Ibeg now, there's the Ashiwaza, and he did it a second ago. This was earlier in the match, and you can see the deep tricep grip trying the Ashiwaza, gets a bit of movement from Yondon Perenlai. But in this situation, Yondon Perenlai's posture, much more broken, and that just made the Ashiwaza work so much more. So Ibeg and under 66 taking gold, at under 60, we had Baromo from Azerbaijan. And this Soresuri Komigoshi, it is pretty darn impressive. Watch the explosivity through his feet. And then the control to have someone on your back for that much time. So Baromov, he had a pretty exceptional day, throwing a lot of his opponents. Just some real intelligent judo. Look at this big, strong attacks. And then just a little bit of Ashiwaza. And then in the final, he ended up going up against Sadalashvili from Georgia. And Sadalashvili, I thought, he would do pretty well, I mean home advantage, and he's really on the, the up and coming. So he gets thrown early, but manages to bring it back Sadalashvili. 
Puts on the pressure, gets a counter here. So was that each? But then Beromov, I mean, he just comes out with this incredible score. Goes in for a Seonage. Lifts him up with one hand and then hand around the back just to save a little bit of control. But there was enough in that to get a score. Let's look at it again. And you can see why he tapes his hands up so heavily. Probably support on his wrist there, helping him out a bit. And that's a great score and a great final contest as well. Back and forth, was out of your piece, and then someone finally making a decisive throw. That's what you like to see. At under 57, we had Perisic winning by Shido against Jakova. Jakova actually won against Klimkite with Shido's, but Klimkite, Klimkite took out Silva in her bronze medal contest. And this is a nice transition here. Gets it to the ground. And then looking for the Akuma to roll over here. And I'm actually kind of surprised, I think I kind of forgot about this, but Silva, world champion from last year. So 57, definitely an interesting category at the moment. Klimkai, Silva, Deguchi in there as well, and also Beloaded. And this is pretty crazy from Klimkai. I mean, taking two stabs at it, and <laughs> look at the flexibility to get Silva over again for a second time. The other bronze at under 57 went to Toniolo from Italy. Nice counter here, nice counter to the Kochi. And that definitely sounds like someone disappointed in the crowd. Under 52, Kauri Yorova from Uzbekistan. She's been looking good recently. Took out Crash Niki, so that's a pretty big victory for her. A couple of Wazaris in the bronze medal contest at under 52. We had Balhaus taking out Primo. And also Mama Dalaiva from Azerbaijan. Nice bit of Ashiwaza here that leads into the, the Sori Surikomi Goshi. Just enough for a score. And at under 48, we had two Serbians battling it out. Nikolic taking gold and winning on Shido's. One of the bronze medals went to Gambata. She had a really nice Sode here. Starts with an Osoto and then goes in. That is a beautiful Ippon. So showing a right sided technique here with the Osoto. Then jumping in on the other side. And then for the other bronze, I mean, you don't see this a lot of women's judo. Yagura Nage, beautifully executed. Only a Wazari, but still, fabulous throw. And this is from Abu Zakanova from Kazakhstan. And you never know, it could actually be the first Yagodonage in women's judo. We talked about Ibek winning gold at under 66 in the bronze. This was unfortunate for Kirg Zabayev. I thought it was a good throw, but he gets a Shido for head diving. So Yadov takes bronze there. And the other bronze medal went to Peras from Italy. Nice score here into the Osaikomi. At under 60, we covered the gold medal contest with Baromov versus Sarilashvili. But the bronze, Leswick. He gets this score. I mean, it looks like he's about to get thrown behind him with an Uranage, but I mean, he does well to just jump around that corner. He does that a lot, so that's his territory. And then lastly, the other bronze went to Shamshadin. Shamshadin up against his, his teammate, Seo Khan, but we'll leave it here, guys. The result's pretty exciting, so we'll put the Epons in another video. So stay tuned for that one, and I'll see you, of course, for day two and day three. Peace out.